Hello everybody, welcome back to our Kanhei playthrough on the EU4 Ambinar mod, where we are, um, in our recovery process from fighting the hobgoblins from the north. That basically pushed me and the Raja's shit in, but hopefully with that white piece we'll be able to recover. As you can see, our, our subjects aren't really doing that well, but anyways, it's time to train our chosen disciple yet again. And I think I will go for... Obviously, I'll go for Diplo, so we can get up to 7, because, you know, that's amazing. Breaking the boundaries of the game. But no, I'll just go for Admin there. I'm gonna help my good old vassal over here real quick, of course. Make him like me a tiny bit more. Speaking of that, I think it's time for us to maybe switch allegiances over here. You know, these Kanheis ain't loyal, and I'm thinking of switching over to Bavari be my new best friend soon. Still trying to piece that out. I would have to drop Kudet Kai and the Raj entirely, including all of his little Sanatis, but that honestly might be worth it considering how rich and powerful Bavari is. You know, obviously I'm trying to find the candidate that has the most money and can support me. You know, this ain't about love, this is about survival, baby. But I gotta think about it, though. I mean, hell. Let's actually check really quick. Bavari has the most income, has a ton of money, what does the Raj have? Okay, still more than us. But hey. I'm pretty sure Bavari, as usual, can shit out a ton of troops. Even now they have more than Arash, and they're mostly mercenaries as well. So, we'll see. Ooh, yeah, and that's another thing too, I have to pick between them. Don't really know. And the thing is, is if we drop the Raj, there'll be less stacks we have to worry about running around. So, you know what? And they have a bunch of jungles over here, so they come down this way, because they're like, eh, let's just go around. That would be hard for them to cut through, so you know what? Let's give it the good old college try. Why not? We do have some years to get this figured out. We do have to drop Kudet Kai as well. Look at that, we can get another idea group. I am going to go with quantity for now, just for that first one. We're gonna be behind on military too, but hopefully we can catch up before the truce goes away. Let's get rid of this alliance. So close. Let's get our court summons. Then shackle up with Bavari. There we go. Nice. Now we have Bavari on our side. Also gotta take out all these rebels and such. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but oh well. What can you do? Funny enough, we can still summon the Jiaken, even though there's like four of them. But I'll take it. The Righteous Summit of 1499. Let's go. Gonna go for the inward focus one. Hopefully we can get all these guys annexed as soon as possible. Also need to find another friend as well. Actually, we can re-ally Kudet Kai, but I don't think that's a good idea. You're bad, you're bad. Honestly, Kudet Kai wasn't even really helping. Hansai might be better anyways. Or Kabeti Teleni. Yeah, let's go with you instead. We got 11k, 15k, I mean. We are going to look inwards. Finish off the Jiaken hopefully soon. Sorry about that, I was holding down the F1 key. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. And there we go. They must be brought to heal. It's gonna help out there. 76% for you and 16% for you. Let's improve relations so we can keep all our friends under our belts. And then we can... Sorry about that, excuse me. 
Let's end this wretched summit. There we go. That's going to be even easier to annex these guys, but our Diplo power is going to go down a ton at the moment. Really? You're about to be annexed. Why are you doing this? Oh well. Holding on for dear life. I'm actually going to switch my advisor here so the Diplo rep doesn't kill us as much on our, um, our power at the moment. Get that free stability as well. Get the Diet. Let's get this army mission too. Also give us morale of armies and land maintenance. We get up to 32 men, which we can do easily. We have a force limit of 34. And now we are in Regency, so we actually can't do anything at all. And one of our generals died as well. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. I am actually going to turn down the maintenance on our army, because we are suffering at the moment for cash. I can turn on these. Diverting trade. Yeah, we could just do that. Get our two men here. That would make it 11 stacks for infantry in those. It's not that bad. You know, we're just chilling for now. Hopefully our vassal doesn't get murdered in this war they're in. Because I'm literally just about to annex them. Now it's unknown. Damn it, because he's getting full annex. Or he's getting fully siege, so now it's... Really? Oh my god, why would you do that? Whatever. Stupid vassals. <laughs> I hate them so much. Vassals, more like assholes. Alright, let's see. Still have about... Yeah, just three more vassals to take care of. Aoshan, Nei Kwan, and Vidvakoka. Oh! Sarnavani Hobgoblin Punitive War. Ooh! Ooh, we could jump in on that now. Yeah, yeah, let's... Obviously, we're gonna have some particulars to deal with here, but... Easily wipe them out. Wipe them out. Come over down to Zhao Dao Town. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Are you serious? You've... There's no way you're serious. Okay, well, at least this guy's our friend now, so we can get some access through him. Oh, boy. Yeah, look at that. Bavari's already... in this war. They're losing. It is a punitive war, though, so the Coalition's not going to give up that easily. But I could just annex these guys really easily. Yeah, let's just get them under our belts. Annex you as well. Just quick consolidation is really going to help us out. Because once we are fully consolidated, we can form the one Gia. And look at that, our truce is already up. Oh wow, there... It looks like a lot's happening, but... Really, nothing is, if you think about it. I am going to get a big stack. Probably send everything we have, if possible. Let me get two more armored cavalry. That is 20 men. Get our best general, maybe roll another. Okay, not our best. And let's give him to Bavari, funny enough. Hey, babe. I have some condottieri with your name on it. Would you like to buy? Of course you would. And you would actually pay me more than the maintenance. So I'll definitely take that. Let's go. Where are these filthy hobgoblins at? And I'm really glad. 
that we weaken them enough so that everyone can jump in on this. We ran so Bavari could walk. And just like that, a random minstrel is going to raise the stability of our country up to the maximum of plus three. Incredible. These water spirits do be something else these days. I would like to take my vengeance and get Seer over here. Possible. Maybe even get some higher developed colonies. Nah, I think improved war taxes will be our best bet. Would have helped in the last war too, but I didn't want to sack my military points. Jump in on this fight, why not? Our troops are terrible, but what can you really do? Actually, what happens if my leader in the Kondatieri army dies? Very curious. Ooh. Goblins infest one of my provinces. Miao Deluxe. Eh. Nah, I'm not gonna take that penalty. What's the worst that could happen? Local unrest? That's nothing. Hopefully it doesn't spiral out of control. Alright, we'll just siege this down. Seems like the AI is going to be losing like usual. Yeah, 33 from battles over here. Hopefully they can push him back though. They're starting to win. Hopefully I can siege this down. Oh wow, the goblins have now pillaged that province. They've been raiding them again, and this time burning the stores into some crops and pillaging some small villages. When will it end? Uh, now? Uh, kill them all, please. At least we don't have the adventurers to deal with that. Really? There you go, the goblins have now vanished. Mysteriously. Yeah, of course some particularists had to pop up and completely ruin my stack over here. And now... he yeah, has what to say. Yeah, now I'm gonna get attacked. Great game. Gotta love it. Thanks. Hate it when it does that. Alright. One more vassals down. Just got these two left. Basically, in 1506... We will be fully ready to form the one Geo. Not gonna look pretty for now, but in the future... Oh, Jesus. As Jakuma is getting a big boy. But in the future, it will look nice. At least. Hopefully. But yeah, they're severely win winning this war. And Bavari's up to 60k men, because like half of it's mercenaries. Insane. Oh, look at that 46k stack. The Raj could never do that. It's kind of funny, because even with all this men, they're doing nothing. It just being... Well, the same thing with a punitive war. It's same as Monstrous Conquest. They're just going to win based off of battles. Good for them. I do want to sack their capital, though. See if I can sneak in and take it. And I can't wait for the next tech so we can actually get some good infantry. I look at this. Halesi Repeating Crossbowmen and Bomdun Guardians. Definitely going to go with the Repeating Crossbowmen. Get that Fire Pip. Really help us out. Just gotta wait until then, though. Yeah, it looks like they're barely winning. And then they come in to clean up. That's why they're losing on battles. Yeah, it's 72 in their favor. Not looking good. 
Well, anyways, I'm just gonna go and siege this again. Don't mind me. I'm gonna get a rival in Bim Lao. Actually, allied to the Raj, funny enough. Damn, we're actually completely surrounded in a way. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I can already tell where this is going. Yep. <laughs> Damn, the hobgoblins are kicking their asses. That's why I'm kind of happy that I did so well with what little I had. This might be a major battle, though. Coming soon. Hopefully I can help out here and there. That's fine, Sarah Song. I already knew you were going to be a pain in my side. Nice. Just whittle them down. I have manpower for days, hopefully. Once I get these professional officers, I will be kicking ass. Maybe. And I can drill? Are you serious? I can drill while being on Kandatieri? What? Okay, I'll just do this then. Bit rude, innit? Let's get some more men, too. Wait, does that mean I keep full morale? I want to test this. I would assume not, yeah. Because they're coming in to fight me. Please don't wipe me because of that. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to test it. Fed him some more war score, but they're already winning a ton. Yeah, we're just waiting until these guys are done for the next year or so. Oof, that's a major loss right there. The leader is a diplomat, though. Jedi hero Borborn, so he might not attack us right after this war is over. We'll see. But we are milking our friend over here. I was going to say milking our old boyfriend, but that's kind of weird. And just stealing his money. Incredible. And look at that, even with this major threat over here. People are still in fighting. Super sad to see it. Go away. I want nothing to do with all of you. Yeah, of course they're disappointed. I'm just gonna revoke it. Go back to my training. And just like that, their war is over. I can get my next tech here, get our Halesi Repeating Crossbowman. Another invention from Yan Shen. The repeating crossbow resembled a block with a rear lever, then one back and fourth hand down the hell. Rear lever, then one back and fourth hand down to fire bolts against their foes. While weaker than the regular crossbow and longbow, the repeating crossbow became the weapon of choice for personal defense, and many peasants and townsmen came to own one across Hales. They were incredibly effective in urban warfare, and as towns became cities and villages became towns, such warfare became incredibly common throughout Hales. Awesome new upgrade. Let's go. Let's get these horsies over here. There we go. Yoshan is now mine. I'll just keep your two stack, why not? Summon the Diet. Let's get you out of here. Nice, get a court mage. Take this admin idea, why not? 
Hoping we don't get declared war on real quick. Actually, it's funny because Bavari's just going to recover. So the command really can't attack right afterwards, especially since he has 51k standing men. But, this should literally be it. Uniting through humble unity. The righteous masters must see that we represent the one true path. In peace, there is unity. The one Jia does not exist, obviously not yet. We are independent, thankfully. We own Zhao Dao. All countries, excluding myself, have not en enacted Zhao Ken or independent Zhao Ken. This guy doesn't count because he is a criminal gang, funny enough. And then we are at peace, thankfully. We change to the one Jia. We abolish the Wu Lin government. We enact the one Jia government, which is locked. We change to a kingdom, gain 100 legitimacy, 100 of each pow uh, power. I was going to say point and power at the same time. Power point. Obtain new missions and new traditions and ambitions happens. Let's take a look at our ideas for the last time. 10% here, 20% here, 10% morale of armies, 20% fort defense, 20% institution spread, prestige, liberty desire, eh. This one's pretty good. Masters of Hydropower and a new Gia, of course. And of course the Wulin government. Diplomat, legitimacy, and leader without upkeep. Cool. Now it's time for everything to change. New traditions and ambitions. Our stage is going through a range of changes that is rapidly changing our identity and ideals. Unless we actively work against it, we will see the ambitions and traditions of our country change as a result of this. Yes, please. Let's go. We are now the one Jia down here. We can even proclaim it. After many years of conflict, the deed is done, and the Jia is united by our hand. Send monks across the country, and let them cry out the name of the one Jia. You can even go down this as well, but I do want to take more looks around real quick. See what's different idea-wise. Ooh! 15% morale of armies and 20% manpower in true faith provinces. I don't think I've ever seen that modifier before. Okay. We also get 15% infantry combat abilities, so we can stand up to the Hobgoblin Horde even better than before. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, here's the main bread and butter, of course. Is the one Jia mission tree. Hold on, gotta keep moving here. Proclaim the Zhang Jia down here. And look, it keeps going and going. And then Liberators of Hales all the way down here. Wow. This is gonna be a very long playthrough. Basically, Resin Kant here at this point. Both that amazing formation and watching that punitive war completely fail. Didn't really take anything, didn't see the peace deal. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for all for watching, and as always, I will see you all next time.